You got that jiggle right there looking fan freaking cast. Look at that. Pop. Look at, look at that pop. Look at pop. 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 I mean, I'm smacking across the. It is your boy D. Welcome back to the channel and more Goddess of Victory Nike. In today's video, we're going to be diving into the game and doing some summons for none other than Alice the Wonderland Bunny. But before we do, Dibs, please do me a solid. Please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and please be sure to turn on those uh, post yeah. notifications. But that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the game. So, Dibs, yeah, before we actually Nikkei. dive into our actual draws here, I gotta let you guys know something. This video has already been recorded once, but unfortunately, I ran into a technical error so that I didn't realize right. ahead of time. So, um, we're gonna be showing the, um, summons I did for Alice herself right here dibs and um, unfortunately there is no voice audio there is game audio but I don't know how it happened it didn't make sense but yes we're gonna be showing those summons coming up in a second here dibs and then we're gonna go ahead and go through the process of reviewing her and all that stuff as well as going through her actual you know her skills and all that and then we'll move into the tests and everything and I'll just redo the tests again and explain everything as we go so let's go ahead and get into our actual summons for Alice Armament. Don't you know? Nice to meet you. Nice. Alright, so as you can see, we did end up getting our hands on her, which, as you can see, if you paid attention to the very end of there, I was really, really, really hyped about that, but unfortunately, like I said, the audio was gone out. Debs, especially considering the fact I was scared shitless, because I, I, your boy unfortunately had to go well over seven drawers deep, if not eight drawers deep, for um, Twinkling Bunny Soda. Or Soda Twinkling Bunny um, is her name, and then ended up having to use my milestone to actually get my hands on her. So it kind of messed me up there to actually have to use that milestone. So getting her within two draws, meaning shadow, meaning um, so meaning got darn Alice actually did really make me extremely happy there. So now we're gonna actually go ahead in here and um. Go ahead and uncap and check out our Alice. She's actually right here. As you can see, she is at level 200 because in the previous video, um, I actually did go ahead and put her at level 200 and all that as well. So, as you know, unfortunately, that's what happens, your boy. Yeah. Um, we did end up also getting a, uh, I'm guessing a, a 
item for her as well that I didn't realize. Um, we're going to actually go through this in a separate video as well, which this is basically the treasure system. You equip an item and it increases the Nikkei stats as you, as you upload, upgrade that item and all that stuff as well. Kind of like equip more equipment, like um, the puppets from Destiny Shop and all that stuff as well. You can put it against that, but we'll be going through that in a separate video. So we're going to go ahead and check out all her animations right now, Dib. So here's her actual voice line. you want to know why I love this place so much? Because you're here. That actually made me happy the first time I heard her say that because I really do love Alice. She's actually a very, very good character. Oh, really? <laughs> the main reason I love this outfit is because you gave it to me. Really? Okay. You wanna know why I love this place so much? Because I'm here. Because That's right. Here. That's right, because the commander is here. Big, big commander Sky. That's right. I'm up in this piece. And then, of course, we got her shooting animation. You already know. We got that little, we got that jiggle right there looking fan freaking fantastic with that pop. Look at, look at that pop. Look at pop, pop, pop. I mean, I'm smacking across the left and the right real quick, man. I mean, let's be real here. If you, let's just be real here, man. We all know. There's so many goddamn Alice fans out here, I'm bro, I'm telling you, my boy Dark Shadow Soul already said the dirty things that would come to mind, the things that he would do, but we're here to talk about physics now, so we real, the aim and the physical aspect of that aim that she got going on right there, especially when it comes from the hips going up, I'm telling you, the way that fluctuate off the thigh right there just lets you know that she's badass, that's, that's all it is, lets you know how boss she really fucking is i mean the pop going on them hits man is fantastic that form is broad telling you man her form is immaculate and then of course we have the chibi animations as well so of course we have the idle animation followed by her walking animation then of course you already know the battle animation her reload animation click click bonk smack smack bonk her stun animation days as hell yeah, that's what she looked like at the sheet. Never mind. Never mind. Ah, you scared me! <laughs> Where are you headed to? Oh. Are there no other rabbits around? Like Twinkling Bunny or Slippery Bunny? The Slippery Bunny? <laughs> Alright! Time to oh go out on a walk! <laughs> Bro, she is so damn adorable. Man, she is just simply adorable. Now, I do want to say this though, as we go into her skill kit dibs. Alice is actually extremely freaking good. Like she is really, really good. She's an extremely good healer. And um, I want to say this ahead of time. Yes, in a way she is even better than Naga. And I'm going to explain it as we go through here. As you can see, I did put this at level five. So the stats are not going to be exactly the way they are when you get her at a fresh zero levels unfortunately i could not reset this right here i wish i could have because i would but i don't have a reset and i really wish i did but let's go ahead so we got her first skill right here skill one carrot and bunny party it activates after landing 60 normal attacks affects all allies recovers 5.07 of the caster's final max hp as hp carrot party Damage the third party damage to inter to interpretation part and to interpretation part is up by 1.39%. Stacks up to five times in to the last four or five seconds. Activates with the after 90 normal attacks affects all water core all water code allies. Stacks a uh, stack count of buffs by one. So as you can see, that alone is fantastic. Now the thing is, she's extremely diverse. So, set this aside right here because this this secondary part is for water core allies, which would be cool to have a wit. But as you can see, for this top skill alone, she's already going to be putting out heals as well 
has damage interpretation and it stacks up to five times for that five seconds and that can also increase over time as you get uncaps for her as well or limit breaks up to the maximum limit break that you can get for her and i don't mean just the three star limit break i mean getting your extra codes on her as well or extra bodies and cores next up we got more characters in her skill too it activates after full burst ends affects all allies burst gauge Filling speed is up by 7.7%. 7.07% for 5 seconds. Effects activates when entering full burst. Affects all allies. Maximum max ammunition capacity is up by 23.65% for 5 seconds. Reload speed is up by 23.65% which is phenomenal on my head that reload speed is right there plus imagine if you could um since i put a um a resilience um cube on my um on my twinkling bunny soda that's actually going to increase her resilience and reload time even more right there so that is really good because not only is she giving you heal buffs she's giving you a burst gauge speed buff right there as well as a max ammunition capacity up by 23.65 percent and as i said once again dibs plus that reload speed as well but as i just said mine has been leveled up a bit here so yours may be different for the first draw for her for your fresh draw so just go ahead and level yourself to level 5 and you should see the same stats that I have as well. Next up, we have Precious Big Carrot. It activates, I mean it affects all allies. Pre-enter burst skill. Stage 1 recovers 80, I mean 18.92% of the caster's final max HP as HP. Activates when Carrot Party is fully stacked. Affects all allies. HP potency is up by 107.89% for 15 seconds. So as you can see, she is most definitely a boss here, Dib. She's a great, she's a really good character. And I highly, highly, highly suggest you guys go for her. Man, like, I really think she's good. Man, we're about to actually do some tests with her as well. We have about five teams I actually do want to go through with you guys for her as well so we're gonna go ahead and do that but first off i want to actually go ahead and collect this right here for my dailies because i have not done my dailies just yet your boy's been really busy today which is why i'm getting on and recording this part to be doing this a bit later in the act but again alice is actually worth the actual draw in my own personal opinion so if you're thinking about going for her i really would suggest you do it simply especially if you need to heal but if you don't use it i will highly suggest you save as well for whatever might be coming out next because you never know what is coming here that you never ever know all right so let's go ahead over to do, 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 i think it's the yep the union raid union mode and what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead i'm going to put together my first team and we're going to build go through this is actually going to be the last team we're going to use right here but i would like to actually show y'all from possibly the worst to best to semi worst team so let's go ahead and start off this off with our first squad all right so here is my first team i'm going to use so i actually do want to talk about one thing real quick um about why i'm stating that she's a bit better than um naga here so the problem with naga which isn't a bad thing right here honestly because he naga actually does do some pretty decent heals but with naga's situation if we go over to naga and we go over here when it comes to naga skill if i'm correct she actually heals two allies see she only affects two ally units right here when if we actually look at um alice herself she's she's actually healing the whole squad continuously at that point every seven seconds which means in this case overall she's putting out better heals in this case because when it comes down to naga you still have three other party members including naga herself that can be taking damage in that case and not recovering all right so let's go ahead and go on with our first team of course we're going to be doing the three minute battle right here um just like last 
has time. If we have time, maybe I will um, overclock the whole team or scope lock them all in this case to see how much damage we can do. We also will be checking in between to see how high our actual heals and damage buffs will be right here. So, also something I want to let you guys know, you do need two rank ones in here for you to also be able to rank up because the way Alice works uh, for our first one, as I said, it preloads her rank one and then goes directly into the actual, um, the next rank one in the rank two. So, here we go, let's check out the first step, and there's nothing to do with our here just yet. There you go, that's the first 33,000. 33,000. Oh, that's 370,000. I think that's 32,000. Yep, 33,000. Boom. Fire we will. So now it's gonna go directly over to her. Boom. Now, as you can see, her heal potency right now is at 99,567, it looks like. Now, of course, um, again, I'm going to say this right now, Dick, with this squad that you're doing with, with the guitar, you're not too worried about doing damage, you're more worried about being able to put out um, as much skills as possible. Actually, like I said, we have three other teams here, especially four other teams here, that we're going to actually try out to actually, you know, put that dead, dead heal that we see out there for us. So in a moment we're gonna actually check that again once we actually get into once we actually attack with soda. Yes, my hand. Alright, so next up right here, now as you can see this is risen even more. This is now at 132,750. Because I do believe that is what the heal potency is right there. So as you can see these are all the buffs that she's stacking right now as well. That just stacked up, so let's just continue forward. You can see our damage is very low. Our biggest damage dealer right now is Soda. As you can see, Soda is even beating out our girl, um, uh, God damn it. What's her name? Priv Maid Privity right now. Even though Maid Privity does have more uncaps on her. But you can see the damage is actually higher on her at that 9,796,117, with the Privity being at 800, I mean, 8 million. 390,500. So again, this team isn't meant to do, these teams are meant to do extreme damage, they're meant for survival. That's really what it's going to be now. Don't get me wrong, the goal is to do as much damage as possible with these squads, but as I said right here, the primary thing is going for, yeah, is getting out of this field. <laughs> Our next team is actually going to actually be even more heals coming out at an even faster and alarming and um, more potent rate to be honest there. Because our next team, we're going to actually be incorporating, um, what's her name, the summer version of Mary into our squad as well as our girl, um, what was her name, what was the girl's name, as well as um, Luda, technically Noah. Get over here. So once we actually get her attack out, we're gonna go and check that potency one more time. We really we're only down for a minute, it's 30 seconds on the clock. So now you can see, um, if I'm correct, this has been the potency right here for heals. Now 234,941. With as you can see, Soda's damage still being at the highest caliber. This team up right here with these two is actually really good. To be honest, Alice's synergy works well with anyone. Like, I've said it before, I said it again, I said it again, it's really, really, really good. So, we'll check it again in about maybe another... <sighs> Give or take another 30 seconds. Sorry, real. Yeah. 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 We're all over 75,000 and 25 million. So of course I do can tell you right now this team of fighting right now is gonna be a hundred million damage team. 
for more. I'm keep positive we're gonna hit more than 100 million damage for this fall. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. Alright, it's fixing once we get to 10 minutes for the time. But as I said, this is definitely going to be over 100 and uh, 100 million damage team right here. Especially if you have them all over 200. Again, I know I was saying it over and over again, but the guy, the beginner's guide that I started on will be coming out. Again, it is an older video I recorded. It's taking the time to get it out there, as well as a guide on how you break the level 200 um, threshold, as well as a guide on how to actually go about finishing up the new academy missions and what comes out after you finish the academy missions. Oh damn. Alright, so now with that potency is now at 643,000 through 681 with soda damage at 39,123,778 and privy. Made privity being at 33,807, excuse me, 33,807,084. Followed by, as you can see, with um, Lou, um, damn, Leona's damage just being over 9 million, 19 million, and, Tro and Trove's damage being over, I mean, Trove's damage being over 9 million. Alright, so we're on our end game. We're probably going to get to at least 25 million, maybe? No, nah, we're probably going to get to 20 million. We're probably just gonna get some more. Fire Leo! Get him! Oh, 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 that probably broke over 25 mil. Alright. So, again, it's not breaking my damage I did with Soda, with the Pilgrim Squad and all that stuff. It's still not going to break that, but it is a close enough fix right there, Dib. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my next team. So I'll be right back. All right, here's our next team. As you can see, we're going to be using um, Alice as well as um, Swimsuit Mary or Bay Mary. Oh, Mary Bay Queen, followed by we're also going to be using Blanc. We're going to also be using... Um, the Snow Queen herself, Lude Miller, right here. You see, Nude Miller. I think it's called Winter Queen or something. Winter, um, Winter Owner. Winter Owner, there we go. I don't remember the name. And then we're also going to be using our girl Blanc, as well as our girl, um, Noir. Alright, so let's go ahead and go in dips. I know I started a bit there, but... All right, so this is the next thing I was telling you is going to put out even more heal capacity right here because we are using three different healers um, as well. So this will be another team that you guys could actually use here to output a good amount of heal capacity. So you can see, of course, we're going to start off with Alice. Then we're going to go into um, Mary the Big Queen. Then we're going to follow go directly into our girl. When you're lost, look to this left. And then, of course, we're going to get our girl. Um, so once we hit 30, um, once we hit 200, 237, we're gonna go into our first check. See what we are. But you can see we are getting more heal outputs coming through uh, consecutively. So what's happening is um, we're not only getting heal from our girl Mary right here, we're also going to be getting heal from our girl Miller as well. Which is here. So we're gonna be going to our second block with the long piece of shotgun unit, so that's actually going to be increasing our girl. I believe it's going to be the no, no, actually, I don't think we have a shotgun unit. So, alright, so as you can see, our heal capacity is still a little low right here, but our damage cap for the Miller is pretty high as well. So our damage is pretty low right now, though, for our capacity, as you can see with the speed. It's only at 33 k which that will increase over time. 
Set, set, set. All right. Just a little closer. Lady Luck is always on our side. Right, and now we're going to do When you're lost, another. look to this lantern. Once you hit the two minute marker, we'll do a double check. As you can see, look at those heels is hitting our girl right now. Man. Like, if we really switch over. Wait a moment, please. As you can see, heel, heel, heel. Same with her. Same with Lee Miller. And bam. So now, as you can see, this is still at the. the so, you see, as you can see, the frequency is not going to be very high with the potency here. Because the stacks aren't going to be building as much with this. But you can see those heels are actually coming out even faster perfect. with this set right here. So if you are Lady still having trouble with even up right. in your team, meaning with this power, try using something like this to give you that heal capacity that you may need. Uh, it is it's pushing more and more and more and more out right there. So that is why her potency is, is probably not peaking. But no, I honestly didn't notice that the first time I was playing it is peaking really slowly. Now as you can see, it is now at 7, 79, I mean 79,528. So it is higher. And as you can see, she even heals herself. So that that's pretty very cool. Well, she's not healing herself, she's healing the allies. She's been healed by um, Mary as well as Lady Luck is always on our side. Going to when you're lost, look to this left. Damn. Damn, look at those heels, bro. It's freaking beautiful. It says my potency is still not up anymore yet. Lady Luck is always on our side. It's showtime. It's no art. Shut up. Yes. I got too excited. I'll be back in a jiffy. Just a little push. Lady Luck is always love alive. her, bro. God. When you're lost, look to this left. I will light up the wind. Reloading. Wait a moment, please. All right, that's me sorry. I want to take the test again. Well, hope you see it here. Damn, Lady Luck is always on our side. Well, I'm telling you, man. man it's your time. Oh. No, I'm going to be back in a jiffy. Alright, so we're at 30. So now we're at our potency base. So as you can see, that hill potency for Mary is 198,067 with our girl. Um, but Alice being at 119,229. So you can see the potency is down for her, but the heal capability is still higher than her, you see, with the bullets and damage as well for Alice. So it does look like Alice is dead. It does look like Alice's heal. Does, the potency does get beaten by Mary here. It does seem that it does get taken by Mary, which is pretty damn awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Stop, though. But that's awesome because you are concentrating out there, and Mary does hear a faster rate out there. Lady Luck is always on our side. Matter of fact, actually, that's why we're gonna look at that in one second. We're going to take a look at that real quick. So we're going to take a look at Mary. Do this one. So, it changed according to the number of activation times per previous effect trigger and rarity the easily once so recovers so we have a max of 3 per second 
twice, recovers. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's definitely going to have a higher potency because it heals at a faster rate. It goes through all three phases right there. I will light up the room. So this is going to be only probably a little over 100k, right? 100 mil right here for this part. Now again, all because she's been beaten by Bay, um, by Mary, doesn't mean that she's not good. Because a lot of people may not have um, Bay Queen Mary because she was a limited unit. So again, I would say go for Alice because if you do have Bay Queen Mary, it's definitely gonna help you put out more heals, especially if you have your hands on Winter Owner Lumilla. But if you don't have either one of them, she's definitely worth it regardless because she's definitely a she's definitely boss imagine having her fully maxed i'm telling you she would outbeat any of these healers i really believe that but let's move on to our next team Alrighty, dibs as you can see we got our next squad right here which is going to be setting her up with the pilgrims dibs you already know we can't do a video here without doing a pilgrim run so this is going to be our setup right here also i would like to apologize if my audio was a bit too low a moment before, and if it's a bit too loud, I do apologize. I'm working on um, the audio again right now because I have a different way of setting things up to try to keep audio synchronized. So if there's a problem there, I do apologize and I will deal with it um, once I get some feedback here or I can figure out exactly or hear from myself what the issue out. Alright, so there we go. In a moment, we're going to check the paint, that potency for heal, as well as the damage. Alright, so we're going to do 30 seconds. Well, 2 minutes and 30 seconds, that is. So, for our next battle, we are only going to do one more. Originally, I did have two of the teams that I had used. But in the, um, the previous run that I did, um, I did not realize that when it came to Alice, I needed to have two burst ones in here at the same time. That completely went over my head, and unfortunately, um, it ended up being a little bit of a longer run time. Alright, so bam, and there we go. So you can see that potency for Alice is already high as all fuck. God damn. Look at that, yo. 356,175 and look at them stacks she got bro freaking phenomenal and with the damage already been high as hell on Madonna at 9,897,576 bro god damn beautiful 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 damage and then Al, as you can see, is capping out seven million nine hundred and thirty-five thousand five hundred and forty-seven. So you can see that damage is high. Of course, if we get to smack some shit with Redhead, bro, which it would be great if we could, you know, stick something up that gun, big ass thing to ask for Redhead would be phenomenal. But unfortunately, we ain't we ain't gonna get to stick nothing up there with Redhead. Even though Redhead is most definitely bay. We got 14 seconds, so this time around, I think Redhead's going to get to attack this time around for the second burst. I really would like to see Redhead go through her burst 3, if possible, but not going to happen, so there we go. So, Boop. Beautiful. Alright. Once we reach the 30,000 mark, once we reach the 1 minute, the 30 second mark, we're going to do a check again for that heal potency. As you can see, as always, Pilgrims are definitely going to be doing the top tier damage here. Like, it really just doesn't matter at this point. It's going to be freaking phenomenal. Like, look at this shit. It's beautiful. Alright. So, as you can now see, look at that, man. 13 mil, 1 million, 313,938 dips. Wow. And Moderna's damage is 24 million and uh, 308,264 with Scarlet at 18 million, 584,368. And as you can see, Red Hood's capping over 11 mil and so is Crown. 
Also, dibs, let me know down below if you ended up getting your hands on Alice and if you and how many draws it took you to actually get her. Also, let me know down below what other ideas on the team you think that'd be good to run alongside Alice Dibs in this case. Alright, so boom. Can we go into her verse three? Can we go into verse three? I don't think we're gonna be able to go into verse three. Nope. But we did get another attack on the burn, yeah. Which means more damage for us. Damn, yo, Madernia just be fucking shit up. And my Madernia is only at no, no, no plus at all. You don't even got a plus one on her. We, she just baits Madernia. Like, the Pilgrims are just broken, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, Scarlet is at plus two stars. One more star, and she'll be for the, like, with the base limit, with the main limit, make for the, get all three of the stars. Damn, bro. Delicious damage, man. Alright, seven seconds before we check our stats. And... But this is the end. 2,368,147. We'll check again in a couple of seconds. Just see that increases again after we do a new attack. Damn, yo, look at that shit. Beautiful damage. Everyone follow me. Two million. Okay, so it's just the same for now. Check it now. Two million four hundred sixty-seven thousand seven hundred eight now. So imagine with her being completely maxed out, bruh. The amount of damage she is going to do is going to be fantastic. Hands down, I highly agree with getting her. She's most definitely a really fantastic unit. Alice heal capability is insane, bro. And that's the max for this one. 2,898,115 with Moderna capping out with her damage at 44,572,257 and as you can see Scarlet is at th over 33 million with Red Hood at 22 million and so is Crown at 22 million with Alice at that 16 million so again beautiful beautiful squad Dead so you know go for her and if you haven't um, you can milestone her, milestone her, but I highly suggest you get this character. Mm -mm -mm. She's great, Dibs. She's really great. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, pick the final team together that we're gonna be testing out here. And um, we know we're actually gonna scope block our last team just because I want to see how it's going to run on scope block. All right, Dibs. So before I actually go on with the extra squad, I'm gonna use to play this. I'm actually going to go in and show you what I meant by you won't be able to actually pull it off with the just um, with two level twos in here I'm about to show you in a moment. The actual one I will be using during the event when I go to the story though will be actually Mary considering she is that other burst one I would use in this case because I would like to play to the event with a whole team of bunnies because that's how I found it out. I wanted to use a whole bunny team to actually do this so originally it was going to be this squad right here then I actually went in and tried it with um, none other than our girl Rappy, I mean Rupi as well. It just did not work out. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and go in real quick. I want to show y'all that once once Alice actually does her burst skill, her burst one, I mean her um yeah her burst skill, it does not work. It just does not work at all. It will not go into a um into a secondary um into a your burst two. It's just gonna immediately just reload over. So as you can see, bam. And that's it. It doesn't do nothing else. You see this Alice is just loading right now herself. It just gets stuck there. So you definitely need to have another burst two in here. I mean another burst one in here for you to actually be able to cap out and use her skills here because in the end it's not gonna work. So we're gonna go ahead and grab up our other burst two here. Mary would be the one I'm going to use, but for now, I'm actually going to go in with uh, none other than our girl. Do, 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 do. Where are you? We also could actually use her as well here for the heels. 
but like I said the one I actually want to use is where where is she where is she right here I want to actually throw oh, her sure in there just have another water mine. unit available right there as well but all right let's go ahead this is going to be our second and last battle we're going to do this again with our scope lock on as well dibs and then we're going to end this off right here that we go through our voice line and also give up my final thoughts on Alice all right here we go so let's see how she's like with a full bunny squad pretty much now of course this is a full bunny squad right now I mean, um, having our girl Marion here would have been all fantastic. It would have been great. Honestly, I probably should have been Marion here for this one. There we go. Look at those heels going out. Good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Vouch there twice in a row, Jake. My bad. Fiery will. Lady Luck is always on our side. Lady Luck is always on our side. Chocolate Booba. Alright, there we go. So the potency is low there. As you can see, we do have the heal potency at 19,000 right here and 41,000 right there. Damage is not as high right now as the Pilgrim Squad, but it's still doing pretty. Alright, so I'm gonna stop this once we reach one. Once we get to the next 30, um, one, one minute and 30 seconds, I'm gonna stop it again. Reloading. Just hold on. Reloading. So now that heal potency is up pretty high, as you can see, it's now 140 million eight hundred and eighty thousand with more with um, Blanc coming in at eight eight million. I mean, eighty one thousand four hundred and fifty seven. Right, we're at the seventy two million mark. We'll definitely end up breaking over a hundred million here again. Fiery will. Oh, he's on our side. Yeah, you might not make it to the scope block. Shit. Good boy again. Tired. My bad, Jed. It's been a long, long day. I love carrots. What did you think? Crunch, crunch carrots. Fiery thrill. Man, I would love to be that damn gold coin. Damn, I would love to be that gold coin. Right. 
fire in the wheel. Lady Luck is always on our side. It's you are in trouble. Alright, so now our potency is now 209,876 with Blanc coming in at 146,446. Look at that. Look at those heels, man. 33,000. 33,119. Tap, tap, turrets. Fire the wheel! Now, turn that so much from Alice. Honestly, I would say put all her stats at 7710, unless you can max them all out. Alright, last one. So now, looks like we're still even out what we were before. Duke, duke, duke. Alright, there we go. So that's what our, big, our max damage will end up being right here. So now I do want to scope lock her because I'm actually fairly interested in seeing what's going to happen with her being scope locked at max. Now I could be marrying here as well and as you can see all these characters are going to be scope locked. So this, this battle ain't going to matter in this case because mines are not at that power level. Mines are not scope locked. So... <sighs> Mine's not as powerful as the scope lock version, I mean. But this is going to be the last match right here. We're not going to stop as many times either. We'll probably stop every one minute. Tap, tap, carrots. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, he's going off side. Alright, there's those first attacks. Boom. Now we'll stop it there for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Fire we will. On our side. <sighs> and one, two, three. Alright, there we go. So you can see our heal potency is already at 135,352. And that's only within the first 30 seconds. Fire, we will. Lady Luck is always going on our side. <laughs> yeah, Soda is just too damn cute, bro. Like she is legit and in other snap, man. Damn, Jeff. Woo. You can tell your boy getting tired, man. Holy crap. Lady Luck is always on our side. Alright, so we're past. We're just about to pass. Oh, we just passed two minutes. Alright. And we're at how much? We're almost at 100 million. Damn, I do wish my guess was this damn strong, bro. I'll be wishing now. Alright, so we're gonna stop again at 1 minute and 30 seconds to check that post. Alright, almost there. Alright, so now as you can see, look at that. Now she's at 372 million two hundred and eighty three and I'm turning 218 with Blanc at 114,168. Our next check will be at our, at our next mark of 30,000. I mean, at 30 seconds left in the clock. 
Let's see if we can make it past 200,000 before then. I mean, 200 million before then. Fire every thrill! Nah, it's riding time for New Iron Blanc. Is that right? Is that all I gotta do is tell you I come to the dead room. I right, should bet you they would probably, they would probably leave their job. I mean, four fools did that was crazy, man. Them darn girls, they all were in the room. And God darn Blanc, as they said, I'm not sharing with no one but God darn Noir. She straight says she ain't sharing with no one but Noir. Lady Luck is always on our side. Alright, here we go. Did you see anyone coming? Nope, but I see some jiggle bitties. Oh yeah, definitely gonna break 200k. Give me 200 mil. Ugh, this clothing is so cumbersome. I don't think we're gonna break it before we reach that 30 second mark on the clock now, but... Hey. The burning passion. The fire Finally will! will. Lady Luck is always on always our side. Always on our side. It's showtime! Put Noir in All right, so now we have the status of 439,884 with New Wall, Blanc at 330,099, with the damage on Soda being 104,301,728, and then we have our girl Noir capping out at 46,540,991. Um, Tobe is at 16 million, and then we have Alice at over 8 million. 18 million, I mean, for Alice. So, regardless, all the characters are doing some pretty decent damage right now, but also there is because there's scope lock too, so we would not be doing this much without the scope lock on, and not until I at least get my own, you know, uncaps and all that stuff. Fire we will. Good thing about die. Let's check it. So now we're at 500. Now we're at 575,248. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yup. So there we go. So that's what it looks like with scope lock on. You can see our maximum damage was 249 million dead. Oh my gosh. So yes, Alice is most definitely a character worth your salt. She's definitely a character worth the salt of getting her. She's she's definitely worth it. I'm just gonna be real. She's definitely worth it. Most definitely worth it in my own personal opinion. We'll buy five and all for now. I gotta come back in about five more of each one of these devs, so it's definitely worth going for. I highly suggest you go for her, man, devs. Like, she's definitely a great unit. Most definitely a wonderful unit to get your hands on. And if you... Hey, let me know down below how many times it took you to actually get your hands on her if you got her. As you can see, it only took me like two at the beginning of the video and all that stuff, Dib. So, hey, RNG just actually smiled upon your boy, man. As I said before, he loves me. He really loves me. So... All right, Dibs, let's go ahead and check out Baby Girl's last ever. Let's go ahead and check out her little voice line. And we're going to hit this off. But again, yes, Dibs, go for Alice. She is most definitely worth it, man. Them heels are really, really good. But again, if you have better things you want to pay towards, like upcoming units and stuff, then I would say go ahead and wait for that right there instead. All right, so let's go ahead and check out these voice lines for her. So... Here I come. No, I can do more than that. The main reason I love this outfit is because you gave it to me. You want to know why I love this place so much? Because you're here. You and I are going to live happily ever after. So, also, those original voice lines I gave you, those are from, as you can see, Level 1 through 10. These are the tap lobby missions right here. Those top ones. Those are the ones she originally had. meant to be solitary creatures, you know. 
they get lonely. Yo, she she hinting at some shit, man. Yeah, I know you're not meant to be solitary. That's why it's oh, that's why all bunnies need a mate. Don't be gone too long. I'll be here waiting for you. I know you will. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> It's around like twinkling bunny or slippery bunny. Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, my God, she is too adorable. Check it out. I've got ears and a tail. Aren't they adorable? Yes, oh, I can feel my power soaring. <laughs> Let's hang out, gravity. Um, wait, what? Let's hang out, gravity. Um, we got oh, mmm. Yeah. How did you do that? She's hinting at shit. She's adorable. First go. So, again, I honestly think Alice is phenomenal. But like I said earlier on, let me know what you think down in the comment sections down below, Dibs. Let me know what you think about her. Let me know if you draw it for her, how many times it took you to get your hands on her, and all that stuff as well, Dibs. Again, Alice is most definitely worth going for if you want her. I think she's great. The heal potency is really, really good and all that good stuff. So, I mean, hey, why not go for it? You always need a good healer at times. You can't survive in most RPGs without a healer. Final Fantasy 14, you need some type of healer sometimes to get through some of that shit. So, I mean, hey. But I'm already 9,000 dibs. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I'm 100% the, the true OGs, and I love every single one of you. If you haven't already, dibs, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to your channel. Be sure to turn on post notifications and check out all um, social media links that can be found down in the description down below. Leads to the Facebook community and game page, Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, Trovo, IG, Discord, and TikTok. All the above can be found down below. Over on Discord, you can find me. Over on Discord, you can search as Games to Boy, any of the content you want to see on my channel, or my other social media. As well as just check out all the cool things going on in there. If you want to join our union over here on Nikkei Rev, it's the Global, the NA, the JP, the KR, or the C server. Just go into Discord, grab the role commander and roles, choose your destiny up top of my Discord server itself to get your role and all that stuff. Once you do that, get in contact with me or one of the mods and I will invite you to the guild chat inside of the Discord server and have you send me your just you have you send me your actual in-game ID so I can send you an invite or just give you the game names so that you can actually um, join yourself. I mean, the union names so you can join yourself. Also, be sure to check out all the guys of Victory Nike Discord server as all the guys of Victory Nike social media such as the Discord servers down below, whether it's the fan server or the official server, as well as the official Facebook page and the official Twitter, aka their X, because. You know, Elon Musk changing the name to X and shit, which don't make sense to me, but whatever. Also, Dibs, be sure to check out, if you're interested in checking out Gods of Victory Nikkei, you can find direct links to the games down below, whether it's the PC version, the Android version, or the i or the, you know, the iOS store version and all that good stuff as well. You can also find a direct link to the APK down below as well, if you're unable to download it on your Android device, Dibs, you can actually download it that way, but be sure, do not play it on a emulator you will get your account banned with that being said dibs please remember 
Fun is an instant destination. May your hearts be your guiding key. And most definitely, when it comes to Alice, the cutie physics and them jiggle physics are most definitely fucking key.